So folks, we have blockbuster news, and it's just the sort of thing that's going to keep Donald Trump up tonight. He is going to be tossing and turning all night because it's just been revealed, it's just been announced that those deleted secret service texts, they've been found, they've been recovered, and they're going to be delivered to the J6 committee. Now, this is awful for Trump because he almost certainly either played a role or was very happy to hear that the text mis mysteriously disappeared, just so happening to cover some of the most incriminating days of not only his presidency, but the history of the presidency itself, and that they just disappeared, and oh no, I guess we won't know what the Secret Service, who knew every single second of Donald Trump's actions that day, we didn't know what they said and didn't say, So, but now, what we have is proof that the texts are being handed over. Listen to this, and then we'll come back briefly and break it down a little bit. Meanwhile, the January 6th committee says it's hoping to have even more evidence by Thursday's hearing after uh, putting out a subpoena for the Secret Service for allegedly deleted text messages. The committee issued the subpoena on Friday following a briefing by the Department of Homeland Security's Inspector General. Earlier last week, the IG revealed that after requesting pertinent records from the Secret Service for a probe into the insurrection, the agency said that text messages from January 5th and 6th had been accidentally erased when the phones were reset as part of a device replacement program. Yesterday, committee members expressed optimism that the messages could and would be recovered. We need them, uh, and we expect to get them uh, by this Tuesday. I was shocked to hear that they didn't back up their data before they reset their iPhones. That's crazy. I don't know why that would be. I think we're going to know more Tuesday. It is quite crazy that the Secret Service would actually end up deleting anything related to one of the more uh, infamous days in American history, particularly when it comes to uh, the role of the Secret Service. The Secret Service, for its part, continues to deny that the messages were deleted intentionally. In a tweet on Friday, a spokesman wrote that the Secret Service has been and will continue to be fully cooperative with investigations into the events of January 6th. Joining us now, investigative reporter for The Washington Post, Carol Lennick, who has reported extensively on the Secret Service. So, Carol, um, what questions come to your mind when we hear these reports that they were deleted during a device, you know, uh, reinstatement program or whatever the, the phrase is? Because um, you do ask, like, was the, were these phones not backed up? Why wouldn't records from all Secret Service cell phones be kept at all times. Um, but you know more about how the Secret Service works. Is it possible that these were deleted in a lawful manner? Well, you're asking the central question there, Mika, how could this really have happened? Um, most agencies have pretty much routine training for executive branch agencies, have routine training that says, look, these are government communications. We need to maintain and preserve them for the archives. That's part of complying with the Records Act for the federal government. And in the case of the Secret Service, what I'm hearing from sources inside is, yes, people were often told uh, and were told when this uh, reset of all the phones was going on in January, really beginning in earnest in mid-January of 2021, we should be backing up all this material. But in practice, that wasn't happening. I think the huge problem for the Secret Service in this instance and in this investigation is, one, they're not always trusted because they haven't always in their history been very compliant with investigators. Mm -hmm. In fact, they've tried to bury bad and humiliating information from not just the press, but from Congress. And so their trust uh, level is kind of low. The second yeah, uh, understood. Yeah, said, go ahead. And, this, and the second huge problem for them, Mika, is that this is such an important piece of evidence. Every communication that happened from December 18th 
to January 6th is critical. And who are the witnesses to history that stand on the president's shoulder? Secret Service agents. So guys, I want to know what you think, because on the one hand, I think it's great they're going to be delivered, but I don't know if this fully pl passes the smell test. As noted there, the Secret Service, at least some of them, are deeply loyal to Trump more than they are to democracy. And in general, the Secret Service has a history of covering up scandals to make themselves look better. So whether or not this was an accident, whether or not this was a, a total conspiracy, or whether or not this was one or two rogue people that tried to delete these but couldn't delete the backed up files, we don't know the full story here. So let me know in the comments that what you think. Do you think all the texts are actually getting delivered? Or do you think some of the texts are actually being hidden still by Trump loyalists in the Secret Service? This is awful news for Trump, but just how awful? We don't quite know yet.